On tonight's entertainment report, magical kingdoms and swashbuckling sword fighters, we look behind the scenes on The Princess Bride. But first, a trivia quiz. Ruth Coburn's record company is 100% Canadian with a patriotic name. What's it called? One of the best movies this fall is The Princess Bride, a hilarious tale of true love and high adventure, which takes place in a very imaginary medieval land. Director Rob Reiner and producer Andrew Scheinman tackled this challenging project by putting together a production team capable of creating a fantastic but frighteningly believable world. The first to join the team was production designer Norman Garwood, who was nominated for an Oscar for his work in Brazil. At Lee Shepperton Studios in the surrounding countryside in England, he created the Kingdom of Florence. As a designer, it was uh, a great treat because it was uh, everything you'd want, really. This uh, fire swans and pirate boats and awful hovels and, and sort of uh, pits of despair, torture chambers. So, I mean, it was everything there. You couldn't actually self indulge yourself. Uh, so, everything I've attempted to do, or the art department's attempted to do, is basically to take everything one step further from find reality and then take it, you know, that one step further. The mythological land of Florin is inhabited by strange and terrifying creatures such as shrieking eels and R.O.U.S.s. Wesley, what about the R.O.U.S.s? Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. <laughs> These hideous creatures were created through the magic of special effects. But when it came to the sword fighting sequences, Reiner couldn't rely on special effects. Mandy Patinkin and Carrie Elius spent months preparing for a sword fighting scene during which they would fence with both right and left hands. Reiner made sure they were trained by a top fencing master. The initial sword fight was the thing that impressed me because uh, it was described uh, as the greatest sword fights since Errol Flynn and Burt Lancaster. Well, I'm fortunate I've worked with both of these people. So I was able to uh, think of how Flynn used to work and how Lancaster worked and uh, hopefully combine some of their uh, sort of skills in this particular sword fight. The first annual Great Pumpkin Carving Contest is on in the lobby of the Jack Singer Concert Hall this Saturday morning and afternoon. If you take your kids down to see the jack-o'-lanterns, be sure to take in Halloween Tales with Sally Truss, a great Calgary children's storyteller. In trivia today, the question was, what was the name of Bruce Coburn's Canadian record company? The answer is True North. Coburn is nominated for Canadian Entertainer of the Year on next week's Juno Awards, and he'll be playing a concert at the Centre on November 10th here in Calgary. Tomorrow, we'll be looking at some great Halloween costumes made by Calgary special effects designers. 